Hello and welcome everyone on YouTube. This is Variety Stick and this video will be the Gmail bypass for the ZTE Max Pro. So if you factory reset this phone and then you try to activate the screen, it won't let you go through unless if you put your Gmail account. Everybody knows that problem and you are coming across this video because you want to know how to bypass the Gmail account. The security batch it will be the August 2017 on this uh, phone and today I want to show you how to bypass this because you've been through too many videos also I want to pay your attention before I show you how to buy best this Gmail account that this video only made for people as victims for the Gmail account they own these phones for those other people they find phones so please take this phone back to the original owners And now let's begin. First of all, you just have to make sure that you are connected to uh, any source of either 4G or Wi-Fi in the phone and just go ahead and back to the uh, first screen and then you have to enable the uh, talk back on the phone. Just hold two finger and keep hold on the two fingers. Continue touching the screen until you hear a beep to enable accessibility mode. Because we need to go Accessi talk back on accessibility tutorial just exit, exit button because exit button. Welcome. Now we need to go to the Google now. The only way we have to do uh, gestures. So I have to do like a L letter over here. Sometimes it doesn't work. And you gotta keep. Emergency button. Keep do it. Overview. Application and then, as info. As you guys see now on Google now, but the talk back is very annoying. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it off. All you have to do just volume up and down at the same time. Alert suspend talk back. So we suspended the talk okay, back. Talk back suspended. There we go. So now you just need to Google now. Okay. So you can just say no thanks. And then what I wanted to do the first step, go ahead and just type Android in your phone. And then stock Android, it will pop up your, your phone. Just go ahead and click on this and you will go to the phone. Just give the phone a permission and allow. Now, once you are here, you have to do the following. This is very important. Go to the main menu. And then some of them, they say you have to go to the lookout security and disable it. But from the last batch update, you are not going to be able to do that. So what you're going to do instead, go to the settings and then go to uh, apps. And then you have to go to lookout application. Uh, there you go and what you have to do you have to disable lookout application completely so go ahead and disable now once this says enabled that means the application is disabled which is good now all you have to do just try to go back to the main menu go to chrome and we need to download that application all right so the application is going to be this DPC APK. So just go ahead and do whatever I'm telling you right now. You can just go here and search, and it will be test DPC APK. Now, once you are here, you will see you can choose the second uh, search. Just go ahead and click on this one, and it's very important that you need to download it. And then you will see download APK. Sometimes it just downloads by itself. So let me see, it should download. If it does download, just go ahead and try and download it from here. Give it about a few seconds. And then once it load the page, go download APK file.
okay they will give you this message update permission so go ahead and allow and then that's the application it should be on your phone just go ahead and hit okay and the application start downloading and you will see this pop go ahead and open and try to download the application first it's not going to download because you need to enable the uh, unknown source so go ahead and just make that phone uh, unknown source and then go back all the way okay just keep go back says same as I'm doing and then we need to go to the find manager just go back go back you can just go back there we go so we just go back to the main now go uh, ahead go to the main menu and go to find manager and then you will see download go to download folder and now install the application and then say accept it's gonna download now because the phone uh, already enabled the unknown source application to be installed on the phone just go ahead and open the application now and then set manage profile so go ahead and say setup then set up again say okay And this method basically it's very fast. It's not gonna take a lot of time from you. Then try and just to go back. Now what you have to do, you need to factory reset the phone. But you're not gonna be able to if you're just trying to factory reset the phone. That system is not gonna give you that option, or it's not gonna factory reset your phone. If I click, then for that reason, let me just go ahead and show you one step you need to do before you do that. okay so you need to go about phone and then you have to go to the uh, build number and you just have to keep push okay now you have the developer mode then just go ahead go back go back in your phone sometimes you just have to use okay once you have this already active in your phone all you have to do factory reset the phone and you should be able to factory reset the phone there is everything it should take the order now what we're going to do we're going to factory reset the phone and then we will see if that phone going to ask us for the gmail account or not now we just did the factory reset the phone at this point is not connected to wi-fi or the 4g so i'm going to go ahead just connect it And once it's connected, just go ahead and let that phone go through the activation screen again. It could take up to a few uh, seconds or up to two minutes. And then it says like, get another device to Google. Next. As you guys see, no Gmail account required at this point. And then you are, you can skip skip everything and you are just next 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 so the the break dealer in this process that i did i did disable the lock application a lot of people on youtube they did not do this steps it was working on the uh, old security batches but in the new security batch it doesn't work so this is i believe the best way to bypass the gmail account on the zte maxi pro that was very much it for that video thank you so much everyone for watching please subscribe more on variety stick if you like that video if you don't want to miss any videos hit that bell every time i will post the video you will be notified and give this video a like as i said and we will talk to you in the next one